Hello guys and welcome to a Dead Space 3 running first time on 16K resolution rendered in real time uploaded to the YouTube so don't forget to smash that like button for the support and motivation I'm using today two Titan RTXs guys and a SLI through the NV link Core i9-9900K overclocked to 5.3 gigahertz and 32 gigabyte of the cheapest DDR4 uh, system RAM by Corsair Vengeance which is 2133 megahertz but it's clock at CL11 very aggressive timing and during my test in 3D Mark and CPU Z um, this uh, system RAM is showing similar result or even a little bit faster in 3D Mark than DDR4 4000 megahertz clock uh, at CL18 so this is 2133 megahertz DDR4 clock at CL11 okay aggressive timing so guys during this video benchmark video test keep in mind this is not about the gameplay this is not about the pixel comparison I'm going to show you 16k resolution at custom uh, very high high medium and low okay we're going to start with the custom let me show you what custom is so pretty much custom will be everything will be maxed out no matter what we got everything maxed out motion blur and blur will be off but if it's on maximum one fps if you're going to play on it it's going to be lower today i'm recording this video with the shadow play on the same computer so please add three fps to the fps counter to get my fps without the shadow play recording i would say two fps not three but two fps I'm rendering this 16K resolution in real time and I'm downscaling it to an AK native screen. So it's DSR 16K resolution but downscaled to AK native. But it doesn't matter, it's still rendering in real time in 16K resolution. So your results will be similar on 16K resolution display in 2025. So everything maxed out, guys. Let me real quick go ahead and show you where it's high, it's maximum. Okay. As you can see, that's it. Let me go ahead and accept that. My art, uh, Titan RTX today is overclocked. They're all synchronized. Overclock only on the VRAM, which is additional, as you can see, 1900 megahertz on the VRAM for both video cards. GPU is running at stock. So I'm going to show you window full screen mode because at the full screen I have the zebra uh, light and gray, dark gray colors. And somehow I'm not sure why. So 15,360 pixels by 8,640 pixels. This is how we're going to rock. This is 133 megapixels rendered in real time or 134 megapixels, whatever you want to call it. A lot of pixels, guys. So we're not going to lose any pixels on our textures during this video. I'm going to start with the first level. Guys, please keep in mind that I recorded a lot of videos Dead Space 1 in 16K resolution back in uh, 2016 on four Titan X Max or GP architecture video cards, Titan X Peace and SLI, uh, GTX 1080 Ti and SLI, as well as RTX 2080 Ti and SLI, as well as Dead Space similar scenarios. And now it's the first time when I'm capable to record guys the um, Dead Space 3 in 16k resolution because the VRAM consumption as you can see 15,000 right over here at the left corner 15,619 megabytes the display information system updated every second uh, self-explanatory I call it tougher T stands for the temperature uh, in Celsius U stands for the usage or utilization uh, in percentage or in megahertz a uh, frequency stands for the frequency for the GPU frequency CPU frequency VRAM frequency and it is in megahertz and FR stands for the fan rotation but only available for GPU one, uh, for video card 1 and video card 2 set at 100% so they kind of noisy dual fan design two of those Titan X kind of noisy guys they're not people will complain if they're going to be in a similar room it's not like a vacuum it's not like a hair dryer but it's kind of three times less than that okay i'm going to go ahead and start uh, 
I'm going to start the game from the beginning. Okay. And this is how we're going to run every single preset from the beginning. The game is going to be uncomfortable on custom, everything maxed out, but it's going to get comfortable. Let me see. New game plus, we don't want new game plus, we just want to go ahead and start it. <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to just select the first chapter, which is the Codex Crash site. And doesn't matter, it's not about the gameplay. And again, I didn't play it for I don't know, like maybe five years. This game was released, I believe, in February 2012, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually like, I actually lo love better Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. I think those two games look much better in terms of visuals than Dead Space 3. Guys, I'm coming in real time. English is not my first language, but I've been PC hardware enthusiast, PC overclocker, PC gamer since 1998. Plus, I'm a 3D artist, graphic designer, software developer, and uh, hardware engineer. So, I have a lot of information with you guys to share. Look how small the subtitles. Oh my god. At the right corner, right there, the titles of the people who created this game look so small. As you can see, latency delay above 70 milliseconds. And when latency delay is above 70 milliseconds for each frame to be rendered, it's, it's, it's kind of slappy and um, it's stuttering. To have perfect experience, you want to have below 10 milliseconds, comfortable experience below 20 milliseconds, and still playable experience be below 30 milliseconds. Everything above 40 milliseconds is stuttering and uh, not playable but it is benchable and it's testable and the reason of this video today is tested so we can test pc hardware in the future in 2022 2023 and compare it with two titan rtx's touring gp architecture that i'm having today in a slide through the nv link bridge and uh, see how well the improvements of the delta of the pc hardware in 2022, 2023, how well the GPU architecture improved. 24 gigabyte of VRAM on each Titan RTX or 24,000 megabytes, a little bit over than 24,000 megabytes. I'm having today is again 32 gigabyte of system RAM, 2133 megahertz CL11, aggressive timing, and um, so it's 32,000 megabytes, a little bit over than 32,000 megabytes of the system RAM. As you can see guys, the average FPS right now is 28, 26, but latency delay is 78, 86. So latency delay will be above 70 milliseconds. Today I'm recording this video is again with the shadow play. NVIDIA technology running on the same computer and consuming some resources. So please add two FPS. Okay, I'm without the ammo. That's another great idea. As you can see, the average FPS will be 22 FPS average. Plus, without the shadow play recording, you can go ahead and add two FPS, but still 24 FPS average. But with that type of milliseconds latency delay, it's too much. So it's, it's not comfortable at all and not even playable, I would say it like that. But it's benchable and it's testable. Okay, come on. Can I... What's going on over here? Yeah, I really love the Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. I think Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 actually was looking much better than this this game but this game doesn't look too bad as well especially on the character look at this I'm going to use this as the let me go ahead and turn around 
as the background, as the thumbnail for the video, like that. Beautiful, huh? Okay. So it's uncomfortable. Hopefully at low it's going to be comfortable. But guys, this is 16K resolution rendered in real time. Don't forget. No, 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 buddy. I don't think so. Oh my god. You're gonna get me, guys. Maybe not. Something is wrong with the gravity over here on this island look how the details looking guys when you play 16k resolution you can see the the mountains right there look how detailed they are when when you're going to play 4k resolution you're not going to see every single details of that uh, pixels of that textures this is just beautiful i'm just going to use like this for my thumbnail wow check it out guys 16k resolution amazing okay okay we want to have some ammo definitely don't want to drop it down so 22 24 fps average i would say experience not playable at all i'm not talking comfortable i'm, I'm talking about the playable jesus what's going on buddy why are you so aggressive Oh my god, look at this. This is uncasual. Just dial ready, man. Okay. So 21, 22 FPS average, guys, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, save and quit. As again, this was the custom. 16k resolution let me real quick go and show it to you okay maxed out now i'm going to go ahead and uh, switch it to very high and we're going to restart the level accept that we're going to restart the level and we're going to have a look how it's going to look like from the beginning so we can compare the fps i showed you outside and inside of the building so I showed you pretty much everything so very high preset now we're going to go ahead and start with this again with the first site codex crash uh, site casual doesn't matter because this is not the gameplay this is the demonstration of the 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 first ever 16k resolution video that is possible and it's only possible with two Titan RTXs and a slide through the NVLink guys to, to play it. Otherwise, there is nothing else in 2018. By the way, this video is recorded December 28, 2018. Nothing can touch Dead Space 3 in 16K resolution in 2018 except the Titan RTXs, two of them in SLI or I would say Quadra 6000, I believe, two of those video cards in SLI has the similar performance and similar hardware specs but Quadra 6000 costs like way higher than $2500 per each video card that is the cost of the Titan RTXs so Quadras will be even much more expensive than Titan RTXs so with a similar performance plus minus 1 2 FPS so we're using right now 16 gigabyte of VRAM as you can see 16,128 megabytes is our VRAM usage per each video card and uh, system RAM usage is 12,024 megabytes so 12, uh, 13 gigabyte of system RAM usage and uh, I would say 17 gigabyte of the VRAM usage the VRAM is overclocked as again by 1,900 megahertz additionally because it's running 14,000 megahertz it's a GDR6 Samsung but I overclock it additionally by 1,900 megahertz and it's easy to do up to 2,000 megahertz. You can overclock your Titans. Same, similar uh, overclock could be achieved with the RTX 2080 Ti video cards. 
by 2000 megahertz uh, at least on the VRAM because it's using the similar VRAM but it's using less VRAM on the RTX 2080 Ti which is 11 gigabyte of GDR6 and that's why with two RTX 2080 Ti it's impossible to play this game at 16k resolution guys I'm also going to show you the 8k resolution 12k resolution 10k resolution on two titan rtxs in this game as well as any other games so go ahead and check out the iplay4k.com youtube channel or iplay16k.com youtube channel by the way if i didn't tell you my name is iplay4k aka iplay16k and i'm the first youtuber that showed you guys 16k resolution back in 2016 on four titan x maxwell's gpu architecture video cards it was half-life 2 dead space 1 i also recorded the dead space 2 in 16k resolution and dead space 1 on all kind of different video cards such as four titan x maxwell gpu architecture two titan 6ps two gtx 1080 ti's and sli two rtx 2080 ti's and sli but this is the first video ever dead space 3 running a beautiful 16k resolution because um, we have 24 gigabyte of VRAM and on, on previous video cards we didn't have that look how beautiful it is isn't it it's nice man I'm just going to go ahead and take a screenshot like that for the thumbnail probably we'll use it like that or maybe you know what maybe I'm just going to one second one second guys I want to use with the, with the ship like a Star Wars hold on the thumbnail like that check it out this is the best thumbnail ever I'm just gonna take the frame from the video because I will try to upload this video in 8k resolution as high as possible so you will have the maximum possible visuals to watch on YouTube as again right now we have we improved in terms of the FPS but it's still unplayable keep that in mind because the latency delay is about 50 milliseconds as you can see staying pretty much average 60 fps uh, 60 milliseconds latency delay but the fps in increased to 30 fps as average but still unplayable because the high latency delay but i'm pretty sure guys that we're not utilizing our system ram we're not offloading data from a vram into the system ram i'm pretty sure that we're utilizing completely the vram today during this benchmark and uh, wow look at these dudes amigo por que trabajo so pretty much I would say 30 30 plus FPS average 33 FPS average 30 dash 33 FPS average Jesus they have a problem with the gravity somehow on this ship no I don't think so buddy I don't think so I think that's a bad idea oh look at this buddy look at this buddy huh this dude is even without the head he's trying to get me And this dude, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Without the hat, look at him. Look at this dude. Yeah, they had serious problem with the gravity over here. Okay guys, still unplayable. Uh, let's go ahead and save and quit. And before that, let me again show you the resolution and the presets that we were running in case if you just didn't watch from the beginning. Very high, with no mode. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch it now to high. And we're going to go ahead and repeat it now. So 30-33 30, 30 FPS average was the VRAM usage was almost 17,000 megabytes or 17 gigabytes. The system RAM usage, as you saw... Let me show you what was that was like 13,000 megabytes almost and 13 gigabytes the CPU usage was below 25% as you can see right here 
the total I put all the six cores for you um, I disabled two cores I disabled the hyper trading technology to be able to keep it 5.3 gigahertz stable keep that in mind and now at high let's go ahead and start it over otherwise I, I maximum uh, stable frequency I can run 5 5.0 or maybe 5.1 gigahertz per 8 core without the HT but 5 gigahertz with the HT so 53 multiplier external frequency and uh, 50 multiplier for the AVX instructions which is 5 gigahertz for the AVX instructions right now but 5.3 gigahertz per each core okay now at high FPS immediately improved guys as you can see wow to 50 plus FPS average milliseconds delays drop I would say it's like 40 milliseconds latency delay which probably is playable now not comfortable but playable let me go ahead and have a look this is my first time playing it okay nope it's still very low FPS actually and the latency delay is still above 50 milliseconds I would say it's high f 50s in terms of milliseconds I would say it's 60 average okay milliseconds latency delay between each frame to be rendered on the screen and uh, FPS is above 30 FPS so it's still kind of the same very high to high and it looks almost the same as well okay let's go now look what we got here we improved as you can see guys I would say by 2-3 FPS on average this is our improvement from very high to high hopefully on low it's going to be comfortable gameplay this is what I'm hoping for okay, let's go ahead and run it we don't have all day guys don't forget to smash that like button for your support and motivation for me to record more great videos in 16k resolution 8k resolution because I'm the first YouTuber that ever showed you 16k resolution gameplays guys before anybody else so I deserve that guys likes wow but it feels at, at high it feels better than at very high it's a little bit it, it feels right now it's a playable actually even with the latency delay it's still at 60s low 60s as average milliseconds and FPS is kind of the same 30-33 FPS average but it feels guys much better wow those guys don't play around huh I'm not sure how we went from aliens to to something like this with the dudes with the axis running with the axis and uh, I think the developers lost the fantasy in the Dead Space 3 but Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 guys is actually amazing in 16k resolution I was enjoying like oh my god it was just absolutely amazing experience right now it feels a little bit better guys that it's very high it's almost the same figures as you can see displayed but it feels much comfortable at least it's playable right now I would say it like that okay dude come on 
Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Dude, are you kidding me? Alright guys. Alright, time, uh, time for a medium. Let's go ahead and switch to a medium preset. I think that Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 in terms of visuals is a little bit better than Dead Space 3. This is my personal opinion. But after seeing ev ev every game in 16K um, resolution, this is how I would say it. Okay, let's go ahead guys and start it over. Hopefully, we're going to have a beautiful FPS now. At medium preset, that's what I'm hoping for. Casual. Okay, let's have a look. Guys, my GPU 2 utilization 99%, but GPU 1 somehow it doesn't want to go to 99% as well. I think, guys, something wrong with the Titan RTX, the first video card. I'm I'm going to go ahead and uh, disassemble it and check for the that it's touching the thermal paste correctly, the heatsink and the thermal pads touching the VRAM correctly. If not, if it's still going to do something like that, and in if I'm going to test some other games, and if I'm n never will see 99% per two GPUs at 16K resolution, like stable and heavy. That that means that something wrong with Titan RTX and probably going to replace it, guys. Because at 92% right now, 80 81%, we we kind of not utilizing all our 4,604 CUDA cores on the first video card, and it should be synchronized. As you can see, sometimes it's even losing some synchronization in terms of the GPU frequency. Okay, finally, finally playable and uh, I would say almost comfortable. For me, it's kind of playable and comfortable for me, but I'm an old school gamer. For some people, maybe not, but look at this, 49 FPS average. With, with the latency delay that is below 40 milliseconds yeah it's still not comfortable below 30 milliseconds will be comfortable but it's, at least it's playable now I think low will be comfortable gameplay guys look how beautiful the game looks like with these particles of snow between the guys, the custom and medium, the visuals almost the same. As you can see, during the 16K resolution, we still have the beautiful textures right there, the details on the mountains is great. They're not blowing out. They're sharp. They're nice. You can see every single kind of details on the textures, the mountains. Okay, so I would say, guys, it's 46-48 uh, FPS average. Latency delay will be 35 milliseconds on average, as you can see. Okay, let me reload the gun. And now it's playable. Guys, you can pick up these games and they're so cheap. Below five dollars. Go ahead and Google it. You can buy a license. I advise you to play Dead Space One and Dead Space Two. Those two are amazing. This one is kind of, I believe, the developers kind of lost the fantasy, and uh, even the textures doesn't look that that great as on a Dead Space One or Dead Space Two, and it should be even better, but it doesn't look like so. I believe that the console that they uh, for the Xbox, I believe that they created or PlayStation wasn't that powerful enough to put the great textures and even 3D meshes doesn't look that great comparing to a uh, Dead Space 
one even. I'm not sure what the developers was thinking. I kind of skipped the Dead Space 3 game, but I played heavily Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. Wow, this ship has a problem with the gravity, guys. Problem with the gravity. Oh my goodness, buddy. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, this dude, this dude, this dude is not joking. But I'm not joking as well. Here we go, guys. So I would say 45 FPS average. And latency delay was, as you saw, I would say 35-40 milliseconds latency delay. The uh, CPU utilization was below 25% on average. And uh, the GPU utilization was excellent on GPU 2 and GPU 1 is still struggling. And uh, it's lowered the utilization on GPU 1. But we never saw 99% on GPU 1, guys. And I believe it's not the game fault maybe it's a fault of the something wrong with my titan rtx if i'm not going to re record this video it means guys that it wasn't anything wrong with my titan rtx but if i'm going to re-record this video that means that first titan rtx had some issues and i probably replaced that okay so now we're going to go ahead and do the last settings which is the low low let's go ahead and have a look and I'm going to go ahead and reboot the game. Okay, here we go. Guys, I'm coming in real time. As again, I'm going to keep this video unedited version. And the way it is, I'm going to upload it. In the end of this video, I'm going to show you the PC hardware specifications of my PC today. With the details. okay guys I think finally we should get a decent FPS can we play can can with two Titan RTXs can uh, Dead Space 3 be playable and comfortable in 2019 at 16k resolution the maximum possible PC resolution PC gaming resolution that will be uh, widely known in 2025th and then PC gaming will be dead by the way all the Dead Space guys series are ready for the iPads and I just cannot wait when developers will release them to the iPads it's going to be fun I already can see how I can play it on the iPad it's going to be easy and it's going to be nice cannot wait to see these games on the iPads it's going to be amazing iPads and even iPhones it's going to be a lot of fun to have it in the pocket hopefully developers will release it for the iOS devices okay 2012 close in for 2012 kind of doesn't look so so good because Battlefield 3 was about the time when Battlefield 3 was released after this game and Battlefield 3 look on another level okay okay let me go ahead and run it as again guys over the iplay4k.com youtube channel i'm going to release a lot of games in 8k resolution 10k resolution 12k resolution and 16k resolution on all kind of different pc hardware don't mess it out it's going to be a, a lot of great valuable information if you uh, trying to buy yourself a video card especially on the on the old video card so maybe you can buy it as used and still have fun so you, you you better check it out you only guys want to buy two titan rtx if you're playing 8k resolution and above if you don't play 8k resolution and above two titan rtx's guys is waste of money or even single titan rtx is waste of money you only need that titan rtx almost similar performance to rtx 2080 ti video card but higher VRAM um, capacity only if you're playing 8K resolution and above. 
Otherwise, it's just waste of money, guys. And I'm playing AK Resolution and above in 2018, as you can see. At least I'm benching, testing, and playing as well. I like to play Battlefield 4 and AK Resolution. It's look amazing. The Battlefield 4 looks amazing at AK Resolution, and the two Titan RTXs playing at AK Resolution, everything maxed out, very comfortable, guys. An RTX 2080 Ti cannot even handle Battlefield at uh, AK Resolution, it's just crashing. Or if you can load the level, you will play like 5-7 minutes and then you will crash on the two RTX 2080 Ti, so, because 11 gigabyte of VRAM. So pretty much, Titan RTX is all uh, about the VRAM, and kind of similar performance almost to uh, RTX 2080 Ti overclocked GPU. Yes, Titan RTX has more CUDA cores, but when uh, RTX 2080 Ti is overclocked, it's kind of matching that. Keep that in mind. Nobody, I don't think so. God, he's so fast. Amigo, por qué trabajo? Muchacho! Okay, look at this. I'm getting better now in this game. And the FPS is better too. So guys, the game is playable and uh, I would say for me it's comfortable. I'm an old school gamer, but not for old people. You probably want to have your milliseconds latency delay, I would say in like 25th milliseconds average. But uh, milliseconds average was like 30 milliseconds average at low. The FPS was like 50... Um, 55-65 average as you can see at 16k resolution low the uh, CPU utilization was below 25% still on the 6 core 6 strats and uh, I, I kept 6 core 6 strats I disabled 2 cores and disabled hopper trading technology because I want to run with the physical cores instead of logical cores just to have the beautiful speed without increasing my latency delay okay the GPU utilization also was good, but GPU 1 looked like it lowered from 89 to 71. So that means that it's probably not perfect at 16K at low, even if I'm having a problem or even if I don't with my Titan RTX, it's still showing us that it's lowering the GPU usage of the GPU 1. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. You saw it. Let me real quick go ahead and show you my specs and we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. In the end of this video, I will put great videos for you to check out. Like Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2 it in 16K resolution. and Or check the video description for it. Please, uh, here is my settings. My desktop today is set at 16K resolution. If you want to play this game, window mode, um, borderless, you want to guys have 16K resolution on your desktop. 15,360 pixels by 8,640 pixels. Okay, this is the specs. As you can see, self explanatory overclock through the MSI after burning a plus 950, but it's going to generate 1900 megahertz on the output because you gotta multiply it by two. This is a GPU, GP, uh, GP, GPU benchmark right here. This is this uh, GPU Z, as you can see, CPU Z. Let me show you about my motherboard, Asus Maximus 11 here of i5, not advising you to get this motherboard, get yourself a Gigabyte version. This motherboard has a lot of issues. Um, as you can see, uh, 10, uh, 1066 megahertz times 2, 2133 megahertz, CL11, okay? And the graphics Titan RTXs, of course. Uh, benches. On a single track performance, we outperform the um, the stock i9 9900K by 43 points, and this is what we're looking: single track performance, single core, single track performance. And of course, it's outperform us because it's using eight core, uh, 16 tracks, and I'm using only six core, six tracks. But uh, if I would be 5.3 gigahertz with 8 core 16 core uh, 16 tracks, which could be possible with the 9900KS or with 9900KS with the 6 core 6 tracks, you probably can stabilize it at 5.5 gigahertz and this is what you wanted to have the higher frequency per each uh, core if the core utilization if, if the whole CPU utilization below 92% it doesn't matter you don't need the extra cores 
Okay, guys. Uh, what else? Um, let me show you what kind of uh, factors you're looking if you're looking to play uh, 16K resolution or 8K resolution and above. You're looking to get the level second cache on GPU and today on Turing GPU architecture uh, TU102 that is powering this Titan RTX, we got 6 megabytes of second level cache. We got 96 kilobytes shared, the uh, local data shared, and the uh, streaming microprocessor SM72. So the factor will be level second cache on GPU and uh, the VRAM, which is 24 gigabytes, as you can see. This is the most important factors. All right, guys? Well, I guess, guys, that's it. I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Right now, I'm putting some great videos for you to check out. Don't forget to smash that like button for your support and for, for my motivation. And subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Till the next time. Have a great day.